What's going on guys? I'm Mariah Elise and today we're diving right into how Lamont French's most recent exhibition sold out in less than 24 hours. Now I think there's three key factors that played into this. If you watched my last conversation with him, you know my company Elise Art Group represents him as an artist and presented the exhibition Fuego in which I curated. Now we're about to go ahead and key into a few things. Number one is how to move from organized ideation to execution, why it's crucial and why it's the most important component to a successful exhibition. Number two is why as an artist you need a team? And number three is how and why creating a community plays into major success. All right guys, so one more thing before we get started, go ahead and click that subscribe button and go ahead and click that thumbs up if you've been following me for a while and you think that I will continue and I do give you guys a lot of information, education, value. Hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. It helps me out. <laughs> it helps me stay encouraged to keep going. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and dive right into it. I've mentioned a few times here that at least our group manages the visual artists. Now, most recently, I introduced you guys to Lamont French. He and I spent so much time developing his latest exhibition, Fuego, and it definitely, definitely paid off. I really credit him to his ability to be persistent and to continuously create works that are evocative. And as he says, invites you into a room and allows you to have this incredibly hard conversation with him and with his work. The work was beautiful. The evening was immaculate. But to top it off, we sold all of the works. And it was as crazy as it is to you guys, it was crazy to us. Now, let me be clear it was a 24 hour pop up, solo exhibition at a warehouse with the artist talk the next day. This did not happen by chance. It took a lot of work. So first things first, let's talk about how being able to move from organized ideation to execution is crucial. Now this is one of the skills that I feel is one of the most important skills you can have to any level of success. Moving from ideation to execution. Ideation is as simple as having an idea, but of course, we know the idea cannot stop there. We have to move on the idea. The best thing you can do with an idea is develop it <laughs> and decide how far you want this idea to go. When you're clear on a simple idea, then you can start developing it and thinking about execution. Now, if your simple idea is just, I wanna complete a collection of work, then you figure out how to execute that. You'll continuously and naturally develop the idea along the way. But all in all, execution means, in this case, you completed a collection of works. But let's say your idea is, I wanna create a collection of works and have a solo exhibition, and I wanna sell 100% of my works. You have to decide, you have to figure out how to execute that particular idea. So then we wanna begin developing that idea, creating milestones and timelines around that idea. While we're planning how to execute, we're naturally developing and decide how far you want this idea to go. Now I could get into what my curating journey was or what Lamont's artistic journey was, but right now we're talking about how we went from a simple idea to executing an idea. Now the first thing we did was sat down and had several meetings organizing and developing a plan. We bounced ideas off of one another, we got creative, we agreed, we disagreed, we got angry, we got happy, <laughs> we got excited. But before we even started writing down goals and milestones, we decided what we wanted to fully accomplish. A few questions we asked ourselves. We went through many variations of what we wanted. Did we wanna only provide space for people to enjoy the work? Or did we want them to enjoy the work and buy the work? Did we want majority of the work to be sold before the evening? Or did we wanna just wait until the night of and see what happens happen? Did we want the audience to have their own interpretation of the work? Or did we wanna provide them with artist descriptions? Did we want adult beverages or did we only just want to give everyone water? After we knew the core idea, we were able to decide what we wanted. After we decided what we wanted, then we created goals, milestones, and deadlines of all the things that we considered non-negotiable so we could have the optimal success. What is crucial in that is being able to keep things organized, but more importantly, having an accountable team. Having the right team will help you move the plan forward, remind you of the plan, and help you develop your thoughts. That will always lead to success. That brings me to point number two. Why is it important as an artist for you to have a team? There's so many visual artists out there who are doing things by themselves, completely alone. Personally, just, I disagree. I don't think it's the right way to go. The issue is, is there are not that many people or companies out there that have companies that represent visual artists. If you're lucky enough to find a team, if you're lucky enough to find one person who is 
available and ready to help you push the narrative forward, your narrative and their narrative forward, then you found a gem. If you can find a group of people to come together and you guys push an idea forward, you have found a super gem. <laughs> Me personally, I've made, it a, I've made it a point to only represent a few artists right now until I'm able to grow my team. Now, just a little promo, what I have developed is an eight week program where I'm working with artists personally on how to get from ideation to execution. If you guys want to talk to me about that, email me at Mariah at least at elisartgroup.com or simply just go to my website and schedule a consultation. Now my last point of today is how genuine relationships and community play the most special part in your success. Now let me be super clear. If you don't have relationships with people and they are not genuine, how will you execute the plan of having people to come to support you and come to your exhibition? Now, this does not mean stress yourself over the, over the few months before your exhibition, try to create friends. This means throughout your life, go places, connect with people, talk about your work, do interviews, let people into your studio, go to their studio, create a genuine, authentic, community. Creating community is one of the biggest things you can do. To have people that believe in you and your work is important to your success. These are the people that are going to show up to your exhibition. These are the people that are going to buy your work. You want to create a community around yourself that will anchor your career. Don't be afraid to proudly talk about and show your work. Always extend your community. Always extend your community by going to community events, by reaching out to people on social media, simply just commenting on someone's page. Always, always, always look for ways to extend your community, but be genuine about it. Make sure that it's something that you actually believe in. Don't prey on people just because you think they're gonna buy your work. Create genuine, authentic relationships and everything will be overflowing your way. Now guys, if you're an artist, if you're a collector and you wanna schedule a consultation, just to talk a little bit more about what I can offer you guys with my services, what I can do for you guys, make sure you go to my website, www.eliseartgroup.com. Click about, go to get in touch and schedule a consultation. Also, y'all know what it is, subscribe if you vibe. If I'm giving you guys love and value and light, go ahead and click that subscribe button. If you really want to take it a step further, follow me on Instagram at Mariah Elise. And that's Elise with two E's only on Instagram with two E's. I do have an Instagram page for Elise Art Group. I'm working on developing that a little bit more. If you want to be a part of that process at EliseArtGroup.com is the handle. If you guys want to follow Lamont on Instagram, his Instagram is French underscore Lamont. French underscore Lamont. And that's on Instagram. And that's on Instagram, guys. Again, subscribe if you vibe. I'm here to only give you guys my journey, my experiences, and hope in some way that it encourages and helps you understand the art world that I immerse myself in every single day. Just a little bit. More. All right, guys, I'm out. Until next time, stay up, stay in the light. Peace.